Hi guys, welcome back. So, this video is about hostels, my experience, and from the ones that I've been, my best ones. So, first of all, I have my notebook again. Uh, so, let's just start. I stayed at seven different hostels throughout my time travelling. I've obviously stayed at other hotels and things like that. Um, there's all different types. There's like female dorms, male dorms, large ones, small ones, mixed. All different types and obviously you can stay in the ones that you feel most comfortable in. I did a pretty good mixture. Like My whole travelling experience was a pretty good mixture to be fair. Uh, the first hotel hotel hostel that I stayed in was in Sydney and it was the wake up hostel and I highly recommend that one it was really good it was top notch for I want to say hotels it was top notch for a hostel um, it was very clean um, nice and tidy really good facilities you know they had um, money off coupons for activities in Sydney the lots of things like that I stayed in a mixed dorm, I think it was a birth mixed dorm, you know like, it was, there was a few and it was mixed um, and I was a bit scared because I obviously didn't want a mixed one for my first hostel, I wanted it to be a female one but there wasn't any female ones left for those days that I was there so I had to pick a mixed one. But I'm glad I did, you know, it was good, it wasn't scary, the guys in there were pretty nice, the girls obviously, all good. Um, they norm well, these were bunk beds, they normally come with a plug and a light near your bed, so you've got everything there. And they also came with a locker in the room and you have to provide your own lock. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was a really good one, they even had a nightclub and a cafe and everything in there, it was so good. I highly recommend that one. That one is my number one. Although, no, no. Probably number two because it was really good but you had to pay for your internet. So that was a bit of a downer. Um, another hostel I stayed in in Sydney was the base. I didn't like that one but some people do. I just found that the wake up one was much better, personally. I stayed in... Um, a female dorm in San Francisco and I stayed in a female dorm well probably of the same amount number I think it was like six to nine beds something like that not a huge one um, in San Francisco and in I think San Diego as well and in LA um, you know, because obviously I wanted female ones to start with, but they just so happened to be later on in my trip. But the female ones were fine again, they were good. Uh, the one in San Diego was only a four bed, but that hostel was really nice. That was the ITH, ITH Adventure Hostel in San Diego it was so quirky like it was the best looking hostel I've seen I'm, I'm not gonna lie it was so cool I loved how it was decorated and all the activities they did and they did um, free pancakes in the morning with free coffee uh, or tea obviously um, they even did meals that were included like dinner that were included every day and like I said, free activities. A lot of the hostels did free activities. Free Wi-Fi. Um, and it was in good distance from the little tram train things in San Diego. Uh, yeah. So that one was a really good one. I really enjoyed that one. I'd recommend that. A lot of the ones that I'm mentioning are actually like big branded ones. Like they're more than one hostel. So they've obviously got 
more money and more time to work on these than just an individual hostel that you can go to but they were really good value for money like I would stop in these again even if I had extra money to stop in a hotel I would probably stop in these just because they all offered free activities you know like city tours and to go to places you just had to pay for admission you know there were um, mini buses or things like that that they provided and plus loads of information some had like activities that you could pay like a couple of dollars for uh, or ones where you just had to pay for your bus fare whatever it was really good they all all the ones that I liked except from the wake up one all offered free Wi-Fi which again is good um, next one on the list that I really liked was the High Hostel in San Francisco that was obviously my last place but again that was really nice I loved how it was decorated they did a movie night because I went near Halloween so they had a movie night oh no it wasn't just one night it was like every night there was from 11 o'clock there was a scary movie on the it was a projecting projection thing they had a kitchen obviously so you can do your own thing and a bar and it was free unlimited coffee again which I always drink coffee so that is just a bonus there was a few hostels in America that did the free yeah there was another one that did the free unlimited um, coffees which is good they also did breakfasts it wasn't like oh a big cup breakfast but it was bagels and toast and things like that that you could have cream cheese and things that was all free or you could pay a dollar and get unlimited pancakes at that one as well that's the one I think it was only a four bedroomed one in that one with the bathroom that was in the room uh, I really liked that one like I said it's in good location as well very close to bus stops and in walking distance from the main shopping area the only problem with the San Francisco one you have to to get to the main shopping area if you want to walk you have to walk through the Tenderloin area which is known for lots of homeless people I didn't find it too much of a problem but it just depends on how you feel but yeah this city tour bus stops and things like that weren't far from it so yeah I really liked that one uh, and the last one that I really enjoyed was the USA Hostels um, Hollywood one that was in an amazing location like ridiculous close to like the walk the stars, the walk of fame, whatever it is, I don't know, was like on the street as you walked down all the way from the train station because I got the train to the hostel or subway or whatever you guys call it, I don't know yeah I think it's subway um, from the airport to there and was in walking distance uh, and then in the other direction it was right near Chinese theatre um, basically all the tourist things yeah you know it's so close really excellent location again it had unlimited coffee and this this one even had syrups you could put in as well so I had lots of coffee it had a nice little terrace thing what was really private where you could sit so I sat a lot of the time on night because it was real warm we have coffee you know dating blog and things like that uh, they also do different theme nights, you know where they go out, things like that. They did a barbecue, and that was my first night, so I think it was like eight dollars unlimited food at the barbecue, and that was really good because I'd not, I'd been out, I got in, went out like exploring, came back in, and I was starving. I forgot to get something to eat. I was like, yeah, well, I've had a really long day. I went straight out and was like doing things after time traveling with. A flight because I was going from Fiji to LA so it was like a ridiculous long flight so I just sat there and had the barbecue they also did trips and things 
and I did one of those and one of those trips were to get to a really good point where you can view the Hollywood sign like the closest point you can get to it and I wouldn't have been able to see that or do that if I'd not gone with them with them, with them and that was free there's lots of ones they even had minibuses to Santa Monica and Venice Beach all that kind of stuff so it was really good um, you could even just pay for a minibus like if there were so many names you could just say oh, I just want the minibus you know you didn't have to do a tour or anything uh, they had breakfast was included there as well and they had yogurts and bagels and pancakes things like that again which is amazing free Wi-Fi and again the bunk beds had um, electricity ports and lights in the lockers in that hostel um, they had a plug in the locker so you could if you wanted to charge your things during the day and didn't want to stay in the hostel waiting you know you could do that and just lock it up so that was pretty good and again it was a bathroom that was in the room so then what was the one two three four those four were my favorite ones out of seven there wasn't anything particular wrong with the others they were just my favorites just because of the price and everything you got included do you know what I mean? Um, I stayed in one in Fiji and that was the large mixed one. Like there must have been like 50 beds in there, I'm not even joking. It was like a, a huge dormitory. But, you know, again, you had your own locker, uh, light, electricity. The bathroom was pretty good. The only thing, it was like huge. But there's only two bathrooms, a male and a female. And there was only three showers and three toilets. So... I mean, I never had trouble having to wait, but I can imagine that could be a problem if all of a sudden you was with a big group and you all wanted to get ready to go out to party. Could be an issue, just saying. But you know, that was a nice hostel, breakfast was included. Um, it was right on the beach as well. Like, So it was really cheap to say that you got a hostel that was right on the beach, literally it was part, the beach was part of the hostel. And it was also a hotel, so that's probably why. But, you know, decent free breakfast. You had to pay for your Wi-Fi. And I forgot it was called Pirate something. Something like that. I'm pretty sure it's not hard to find in Fiji because a lot of the places, websites and things, offer it. Because there's not that, probably not a huge amount of hostels in Fiji on Nadi itself. Uh, if you think of something to do with pirates, you'll probably that's it. There's just pirates in my head for whatever reason. Uh, when I went, it was Fiji Day, so there's some activities going off which were free, but they don't always. They didn't have any like free activities because it's a hotel as well, obviously. But the food that you could buy inside the restaurant was pretty good as well. And about some others yeah there was like two in Fiji I went because there was the main one on Nadi and then we went to Beach Kumar Island and that is also a hotel and hostel and that was well, basically you're on your own private little island all your meals were included because you had to pay for that uh, your drinks weren't so you had to pay for your own drinks and basically well, it was decent good sleep you know it was a bit more like you were outside than inside because it was just like in a little shack but you know it was really clean nice staff were friendly uh yeah that's just not in they had free wi-fi as well actually that was so that's good because it was like on an island in the middle of the ocean as well so yeah that was pretty good that i managed to find wi-fi there so yeah like I said, there wasn't anything terribly wrong with the others, that they just didn't make it to my favourites. It was just because those four are the ones that I remembered, like, when people ask me about hostels, they're the ones I think of and want to tell people about. So they obviously set an impression, and it was a good impression for me, for hostels. I enjoyed them, I would do it again, there wasn't an issue. The only problem I do have was because, obviously, you have a lot of people you don't know. Um, I have an issue with lights being left on and things like that when I'm trying to sleep and a lot of people do that they're not not everyone is 
um, as kind or as thoughtful of other people as some people are. I'm pretty, I was really quiet if I came in late, I went straight to the bed or turned my light on, got sorted, did what I did and turned it straight off and went to sleep. If it was late, you know, I'll go straight to the bathroom to do get changed and whatever. I tried to make as little noise as possible and if it got late, I'd just turn my light off and use my iPad to do what I was doing and didn't make noise. However, there's a lot of people that aren't that quite considerate and they'll come in, turn the light on and go off and not come back for another hour because they've gone for a shower and everything but left the lights on. I'll come in and start packing at three in the morning and start moving the stuff. Um, sometimes you can't help that because if your flights are at daft times you have to but when my flights were at really early mornings I'd made sure I was completely packed the night before so that all I had to do was get changed, throw those in my suitcase and go. But there's some people that didn't do that because they was out drinking and to get to They'd come in at like 2 in the morning, pack their case because they'd been out drinking, leave their lights on to go to the shower, come back after an hour. I'm like fuming at this point. And then they go at like 5 in the morning with their suitcase making as much noise as possible. That was a really bad case. Didn't happen too often. Thankfully, I stayed in a lot of places where people were really considerate. I didn't have that issue too much. So, yeah. Everyone's different, so I'm sure somebody else you could ask them and they'd turn around and say, oh, definitely not, never stay in a hostel. But I enjoyed them. And if you go into any of those areas, like I've stated, um, San Francisco, San Diego, um, Hollywood in LA in particular, and Sydney, those are the four I would recommend. Definitely. I didn't stay in any others, but from the people that I made friends with, that would travel different places. They said that they were the nicest ones to stay in. And yeah, I mean what you can't go wrong. Free Wi Fi, free breakfast, free unlimited coffee, free activities, all for like thirty pounds a night. Come on, it's it's a pretty good deal. Do you know what I mean? Like I stayed in some hotels and paid like well, some hotels, some places like probably the same if not more and didn't get anything but my own room I mean do you know what I'd rather share a room with somebody and get a load of free stuff I'm just saying so this was a, hopefully a lot quicker video and I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching guys bye don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can get a new travel video every Thursday <laughs>